Hi everyone, my name is Mary. Thank you to the organizers for having me here today. I'm a registered nurse and a clinical coordinator for Medley, a remote monitoring telemonitoring platform that runs out of UHN, as well as the integrated care lead for heart failure at Toronto General Hospital. Caring for heart failure patients, as we know, is very complex and involves many clinical and non-clinical stakeholders. In particular, it requires close collaboration between primary community and acute care providers. To that end, I am here to talk about embracing telemonitoring solutions to enhance heart failure care. This topic has only become more relevant given the current COVID-19 crisis as we've been forced to rethink delivery of care for a vulnerable population of heart failure patients. In this talk, I will cover the history of telemonitoring and modern day telemonitoring systems, as well as explore what's available for heart failure patients, the benefits and what the future of telemonitoring holds for patients and for fostering connections between primary community and acute care heart failure care providers. As COVID-19 began, there was an urgent need for innovative ways to support and provide ongoing care for this vulnerable population of patients. While COVID-19 has had a catalyzing effect on telemonitoring, this attention is long overdue, and we can now be confident that telemonitoring for chronic diseases is here to stay. Providing care beyond the traditional face-to-face -face model Telemedicine is a critical component in the spreading epidemic and beyond to keep our heart failure patients safe, improve outcomes, innovate, and improve quality of care. Importantly, because of the complex nature of managing heart failure patients, telemonitoring can be a connector between acute care, community care, and primary care to ensure safe and effective collaboration. Before we delve into modern telemonitoring, I want to briefly discuss the history of telehealth and telemonitoring as an important part of the delivery of medical care in Canada. This slide shows a letter I recently received from a gentleman who is part of our heart failure telemonitoring program at TGH. Fortunately for us, he used some of his lockdown time to research and share the history of telemonitoring in Canada with us. Canada was an early pioneer in the development of telemonitoring and virtual care through the work of the late Dr. Maxwell House of Memorial University of Newfoundland, in Newfoundland in the 1970s. Dr. Maxwell House used telephone technology to provide virtual consultations and remotely connect, collect data to and from remote sites throughout the province, especially to those living on the remote Fogo Island. This became known as the Fogo Island Project. Since then, telemonitoring solutions in Canada have been leveraged to improve access to care. Telemonitoring in Canada and in Ontario has continuously evolved and now plays a central role in our system. This includes everything from virtual care to passive and active remote monitoring that enables care to even the most remote parts of our country and province. For heart failure, telemonitoring has evolved from pencil and paper data collection of weight and blood pressure to robust technology that provide meaningful interpretations of the data to inform clinical decision making. So what is telemonitoring as specifically as it relates to heart failure? As telemonitoring has evolved, it has become a crucial component of research and operational programs for heart failure care. Modern telemonitoring promotes the use of technology to facilitate and complement patient monitoring and patient management between episodes of care. Given the daily fluctuations and potential for rapid decompensation in these patients, telemonitoring facilitates timely data transfer between patients and clinicians. This is especially important when geographical differences exist and this te technology can allow for more customized care. Iterations of telemonitoring and heart failure have included everything from nurse-led structured phone calls, nurse-led education post-discharge using standalone devices used by patients uh, to generate data to transfer to clinicians, as well as implantable devices that provide hemodynamic and physiological data, wearables, or any combination of the above. All of these solutions target close and personalized monitoring and follow-up and are aimed at promoting uh, improved self patient self-care, improving quality of life, and improving outcomes and performance measures for heart failure patients. So why do we need it? To many, adding heart telemonitoring for heart failure to your workload may seem like another added layer of tasks to do in your already busy day. However, embracing and collaborating through telemedicine is needed now more than ever, 
given the burden of heart failure in our system, both financially and clinically. The need for connected care throughout the patient journey is increasing. With telemonitoring, patients can access the right care at the right time by aiding with prioritization and enabling more sophisticated monitoring programs. These all have the possibility to reduce workload, especially in person visits and dealing with surprise and acute decompensations. Since inception on Fogo Island, Canada and Ontario have leveraged technology to provide remote monitoring for patients of many diseases across the country. In Ontario, we now have several heart failure specific telemonitoring systems. These primary telemonitoring systems include the Ontario Telemedicine Network, which is a six month health coaching and remote monitoring program that supports people with heart failure and is free to patients in Ontario. There's also the Ottawa Heart Institute tele monitoring program, which is a nurse run intensive post-discharge home health program designed to improve patient outcomes and reduce hospital admissions. Additionally, there is the Community Paramedicine Remote Patient Monitoring Program. This is a remote monitoring initiative of community paramedics across Ontario designed to keep patients safe at home and out of hospital from heart failure. And last, there's Medley. Medley is a heart failure remote monitoring platform based at a Toronto General Hospital and now Toronto Western Hospital that empowers patients with the tools to improve their heart failure related self care. It has an evidence based algorithm built in to facilitate clinician triaging and patient self-care and links heart failure patients directly with their heart failure care team. All of these programs are designed to complement the care patients receive in the community, in primary care settings, and in acute settings and promote positive self-care and remote support. To give you a picture of a telemonitoring system in use, I will briefly talk about Medley, which is the remote monitoring system that we use at UHN for heart failure patients. Medley creates a novel model of care delivery designed to optimize resources and improve patient experience and outcomes. It empowers patients to take an active role in their self-management. As you can see in this model picture on the right, the patient interacts with the Medley application on a daily basis with the use of external devices, a scale, a blood pressure cuff, and a phone. This information generates a feedback message based on an expert rules-based algorithm that is built into the application. Simultaneously, this information travels to the server and alerts the Medley nurse coordinator, which is myself and a number of others, as well as the heart failure cardiologist, if any of these variables that are outside of the patient uh, customized thresholds alert. This allows for meaningful data to be transferred and acted upon by clinicians and allows patients to feel engaged with their heart failure specific data and the factors that influence them each day. This slide shows Medley from a patient perspective. Medley allows patients to take their daily measurements, weight, blood pressure, heart rate, and symptoms, and view personalized feedback instructions and education. Additionally, they're able to view trends in their physiological measures and blood work and understand what factors they can personally influence each day. Patients are asked to complete this information daily and it is reviewed daily by heart failure clinicians at UHN. Crucial to the success of Medley is the rules-based expert algorithm that was developed at the Peter Mung Cardiac Center. This algorithm was developed in an iterative fashion with feedback from the heart failure clinicians at PMCC. The algorithm inputs the four measures taken by the patients and generates one of six self-care feedback messages. This can include medication instructions, reinforcement of self-care such as salt and fluid intake recommendations, or instructions to contact their care provider. The algorithm supports the triaging of patients by alerting clinicians to important data changes while keeping the clinicians updated on the patient's status. The algorithm and application provides patients with peace of mind and allows clinicians to focus on their most urgent patients. This slide shows the clinician view. This allows uh, clinicians to care for their patients on the go as it is generated in email form as well as in a visual form on the patient dashboard. The benefits of telemonitoring are widespread. Evidence has shown that when telemonitoring solutions are implemented with patients at the center to provide timely and relevant data transmission to care providers, as well as education and self-care support for patients, 
telemonitoring can reduce health service utilization, improve clinical outcomes, improve patient quality of life, reduce the risk of hospitalization, help in achieving guideline-directed general guideline-directed medical therapy, and generally supports patients navigate this complicated disease. Importantly, it can be a crucial component of promoting patient-provider and provider-provider collaboration as the data can be used to inform care when, the, when presented in a clinically meaningful way, in a way that promotes patient autonomy and engagement. In addition to these te telemonitoring systems referenced before, OTN, Ottawa Heart, Community Paramedicine and Medley, which are platforms based on external devices for data. There are other telemonitoring tools that are being leveraged to inform clinical heart failure care. At UHN, we are leveraging some other remote monitoring systems, often in conjunction with Medley, to create a more comprehensive picture of our patients. For example, we are using HeartLogic, which is a personalized remote heart failure diagnostic and monitoring solution. It is a diagnostic tool used to track physiological trends from an ICD or CRTD and sends alerts of potential worsening heart failure weeks in advance. The CardioMem system uh, features a small pressure sens sensing device that is implanted directly into the pulmonary artery. Without needing to visit the clinical clinic or hospital, it regularly sends information wirelessly to the patient care team, alerting them for measures out of range. In addition, we are now seeing the Apple Watch and other wearables enter the scene of remote monitoring with the advent of the ECG app, which uses electrical heart sensor built into the watch to record single lead ECGs. In addition, the use case for technologies are growing and will be so important in improving the continuum of care for patients. These telemonitoring systems are being used to enhance integrated and post-discharge care that is connected and can support transition care. They're being used to remotely manage heart failure symptoms and optimize medication. They're also being used to provide education and support for their families, which is crucial more than ever in this COVID-19 pandemic. The time for embracing telemonitoring solutions across the continuum of care for heart failure is now. Embracing telemonitoring by making referrals, communicating and facilitating communication between care teams, and viewing and utilizing the useful data patients have in their own pockets to make data-driven and personalized care decisions affords us the opportunity to deliver improved quality that is home-based in settings where patients are comfortable and more likely to be open to learning. Together, we can use this technology to contribute to a more connected and data-driven future that will be transformative for our system, for clinicians, and for patients and their families. Thank you very much.